welcome to this tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own magazine in GIMP. So uh, what we're going to do <coughs> is open up a new image and I'm going to have it uh, the width be 800 the height be 900 and this is just uh, by looks. I'm not saying it's the exact size that you should print out as a magazine but it looks about right to me. So uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to find a font for our text and I'm going to write I'm going to write open source as my magazine title and I'm going to make it about like that. I'm going to use the font and I'm going to use the font SF movie poster <coughs> and I'm just going to increase the size too. to about like that. That's good. <clears throat> and uh, I think the coloring is good too. Just a basic uh, black. What we're going to do is we're going to go layer, auto crop layer, and then use the centering tool and click on it and center it relative, uh, no, sorry, just center it to the middle. You don't want to center it like that. And we're going to move it up just a little bit more and then in smaller text like maybe 50 size 50 we're gonna write at the top we're gonna write <coughs> um, May 2010 okay close that and move it right there maybe a little bit smaller like that, yeah. Close that and use the move tool. That's good. All right, <coughs> and uh, now we're gonna open up our main uh, poster sort of thing that fills up the image. So we're just gonna go file, open as layers, just right there. <coughs> And uh, I think it looks better with the text above the image. I don't know. I just like the feeling. I just like the idea of that. <coughs> and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our little stories that we're going to have the stories inside. All right. So I've opened up my Linux Penguin <coughs> and my Cam Studio. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, scale this layer down quite a bit and actually we're gonna reset that and we have to check the little link chain thing right there and scale that down yeah a little bit more I want it about like that <coughs> that's good alright and we're gonna do the same thing for the cam studio logo and press scale alright and we're gonna move these to the bottom here alright <coughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to use our rectangular select tool and then just select and we're gonna move the penguin over just a little bit right there for Linux and we're just going to select around it <coughs> and uh, make a new layer uh, and we're going to put that below it actually and fill that in you can select none now <coughs> okay and uh, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write with our text tool and write um, and I'm going to write sh uh, with my text tool <clears throat> um, I'm gonna write should Linux be open source on page five, and we're gonna use the same font, uh, SF movie poster, and just might make the text a little bit bigger. 
and make the text color um red and move it whoops <coughs> move the text maybe right there and the text and uh, move it or like that and it's a perfect fit <coughs> alright and uh... we're gonna do the same thing uh... for the cam studio logo and i'm gonna get the put that right there move this like that alright <coughs> and i'm gonna make a new layer below that use the rectangular select tool select around it fill it in with the black color can select none <coughs> and then we'll write with my text tool with the red font and I'm just gonna write <coughs> cam studio possibly the best open source screen recorder on page 15 and maybe make it a little bit bigger and just a little bit smaller alright and uh... move the cam studio logo maybe down a little bit like that and move the text layer like that <coughs> alright select the background layer and uh... we're just gonna stroke down a uh, gradient and I'm just going to use this light blue to dark blue color and on the gradient after you to background and on the shape of radial and select the background and stroke from in out. Alright, that's good. And so that is how you make your own magazine in GIMP. Thanks for watching this tutorial. <laughs>